Hello and welcome back to Bible News Network, your network for all the latest Bible news. Today, our top story, a man called Jesus rides a donkey into Jerusalem. We will go live to Jim, who is on the scene. But before we get to the real-time events, we need to look back. Just where exactly did Jesus come from? And perhaps more importantly, where on earth did he get that young donkey? For answers to these questions and more, we go to top reporter Jim. Jim? Thanks, Jim. Who is this Jesus? Where did he come from? Where did he go? And perhaps the biggest question on everyone's minds, where did he get that young donkey? Jesus is not new to the traveling teacher scene. He's been doing this for about three years now. He grew up in Nazareth in Galilee. His family isn't really of note. His father was a craftsman, and his mother was his mother. Honest work, but not very noble. As he's been teaching, he has gathered some followers, 12 of which he has chosen to be his closest disciples. It is with these disciples that we pick up this exciting story. Earlier, Jesus and his disciples were walking on their way to Jerusalem. When they got to a place called Olivet, near Bethpage and Bethany, Jesus sent two disciples ahead of the group, saying, Go into that village over there, and as you enter it, you will see a young donkey tied there that no one has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks, why are you untying this young donkey? Just say, the Lord needs it. Then the disciples went ahead and entered the village. We were able to find a recording of the actual event. Here is what happened. Why are you untying that young donkey? The Lord needs it. Oh, oh that's okay then. Yeah, have a, have, have a good day. After this encounter, the disciples took the young donkey back to Jesus, put their cloak on the young donkey's back, and put Jesus on the donkey. This brings us to the current events. As you can see behind me, as Jesus rides the young donkey along the road, some people are cutting palm branches, and other people are putting their cloaks on the ground in front of him. Let's see if we can hear what the people are shouting. Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the coming kingdom of our Father. Hosanna in the highest. This is very unusual. The people are praising Jesus as if he's a king. But what self-respecting king would ride in on a young donkey? A king should ride in on a horse, a symbol of power and strength. Instead, Jesus is riding in on a lowly donkey. If this Jesus is really a king, he's the most revolutionary king I've ever heard of. Back to you in the studio, Jim. Thank you, Jim. Revolutionary indeed. We'll be following the story of Jesus in the coming days. Our sources tell us that there may be upheaval coming in the near future. Be sure to stay tuned for other creative Bible lessons. That's it for us from BNN Studio. Remember, stay cool, stay home, and from all of us to you, have a good evening. Hey guys, what'd you think about Jesus in this story? I know the animal Jesus is riding looks like a horse, uh, but it was meant to resemble a donkey. So, yeah. What lessons could you get from this story? There are a few lessons that I could see in this story, but uh, I'll just focus on one. How often do we praise our king? He meets us where we're at. Um, he loves us and he saved us. So take some time today uh, to praise Jesus for being our king and loving us even when we don't deserve it. He is king and lord over all creation. Uh, and that includes our, our situation that we're in today. What other lessons uh, did you get out of this story? I'd love to hear them and you can leave them in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this week's Sunday School class. Uh, I know I really enjoyed making it. I love playing with Lego. Um, remember, God made you special, and he loves you very much. Bye.